Up for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a 2007 Lincoln Navigator, two-wheel drive, short wheelbase, meaning it's not the L model. It's a silver birch on the outside with graystone leather. It's completely loaded up with a factory navigation, factory backup camera, factory DVD, factory power moonroof, factory 20-inch chrome wheels, power running boards, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Car has no damage, no dents, no hail damage, no love bugs. Clean title. Almost, um, it's got a almost new tires, good years. <clears throat> if you're watching this video, you're not a trader, let me tell you that it will cut off after three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We were open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself right at our website. Uh, we have a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, uh, one of the many options in this vehicle is the uh, power tailgate, and let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Pressing and holding here. Okay, all. Uh, also, the uh, third row seats is what we call the power folding third row seats, and I'll demonstrate that in just a second. These seats are independent of each other, 60, 40 seats, 60% is here, 40% is here. We'll just fold down one side just to give you an idea how it works. And they fold down completely, okay? But you wanna, if you fold that completely, you wanna pull the headrest so it flops, okay? Otherwise, it'll hit up in the front. And to lift it, you just put your hand over here and bring it back up. Okay, let's go ahead and close the tailgate. And let's go inside and uh, check out the interior options. Car has a heavy duty tone package. You can't see it right now because it's got like this uh, beauty cover here, but it's behind there. Okay, let's go ahead and get it started. Keyless entry. Again, as I said before, the power running boards. Door panels are the same as the interior. It's a light stone color. Of course, you got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tow wheel. Uh, it's also got the power tilt. We got a power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support, as well as memory for up to two drivers. Okay, let's go ahead and get it started. <clears throat> got also the THX uh, stereo sound system, which is the premium sound system. Get the 4G LTE HTC One X. DC going. Take high resolution photos right from video, so you never miss a Lower the fan, otherwise you're not going to be able to talk. It's a fan switch. Here we go. Okay, let's lower the volume on that. Uh, I think we got a DVD going right now. Let's see. We get the factory DVD over here. I just wanted to see if we have a movie inside of it. I think we do. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek before we uh, do the front portion here. There's a factory DVD right there. Okay. Uh, get a full bench in the middle. Two in the front, three in the middle, that's five. And as well a full bench in the back. Uh, so it's a total of eight passengers. And they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger. In the back, as well as in the middle, he's got his own uh, uh, seatbelt right there. We have um, anchors for your baby seats on all three of the seats. The outside, the middle, and the outer part, portion of it. Let's go ahead and get back in here. And let's get the uh, navigation going up here. Got a, a touch screen, as you can see. And there's our nav screen. Get the moonroof open so we can get a little better lighting here. It's a one touch moonroof, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for it to open. 
It's a glass moon roof. It is tinted as you can see, but also has this um, hard cover here that blocks out the sun completely. Let's leave it open for now so the video has better lighting. Okay, the car has 64,148 miles. To the left of the odometer that you can see it's got a compass that lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the lights here. Okay. Um, by the way, when you turn on the lights, you notice that the, uh, that the map screen turns like a charcoal gray, darker. So that's why at night doesn't bother your vision. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off again so you can see the difference. Turn off the lights. You'll see that the, uh, the navigation changes. But let's leave the lights on now uh, so you can take a look at the uh, instrument panel. The car is running right now. I'm going to go ahead and rev the engine. Keep an eye on the left hand dial. 5.4 liter V8 and the reason I'm revving it is so you can see that it's idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine soon, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. Everything is working to perfection. Okay. Uh, I went in and uh, made it a little brighter so you can see better. Okay. Um, we've got uh, triple climate control and what I mean by that is we can control the driver's side and make it like right now 60 and the passenger side we could um, we could change it and make it uh, uh, warmer, and we can also control the rear temperature. Here's what I mean. Right now, the driver's side is 60, the passenger side is 66, and here's how you control the rear. Okay. Um, we also have uh, cool seats, and there's three different levels of comfort: high, medium, low, and off. And then we get heated seats, and I'll demonstrate on the passenger side because I don't want it to come on. That's high, medium, low, and off. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put the AC seats because it's really, really hot out there today and take advantage of that. Uh, okay, uh, we can control the power tailgate from here as well. You don't have to use a remote. This is your hazard, traction control. And we can control the fan speed up here as well as the uh, uh, fan speed for the rear. Okay, um, automatic transmission. Got a couple of cup holders here. Here's your ashtray. Matter of fact, it looks like it's never even been used. Let's take a look at the Nice and clean. Okay. By the way, there's no odor of smoke and there's no burn holes anywhere. Let's go ahead and pan around the dashboard so you can see that there's no burn holes or cracks or holes or anything like that. Okay. And over the passenger seat so you can see it's in great shape. The center section is perforated. The outer section is solid. And it has this, uh, what I mean by solid is like this. In that perforated section, you can see the little holes. And it's got the uh, gray piping, which looks really sharp. Center console, we got a nice and deep storage there. Over here is our auxiliary input for your iPod. So you can play your iPod music right on your THX uh, stereo sound system. In the back of the center console, there's a couple holders for the rear passengers as well. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, listen to some music. Uh, where's the uh, media? FM. As you can see, we have controls here on the um, on the steering wheel here. Notice there's the cruise controls on this side here, and uh, here's the volume. And. Uh, we also have here to uh, switch uh, stations, okay? Over here is your media, and over here you can control the temperature of the uh, AC. Over here you can control the fan. And I'm gonna lower it here now. You, you, you're gonna hear the fan, the fan speed go down. Here's your cruise control on and off to set and to resume, okay? Of course, we got power windows. The two front windows you see it says auto. They're one touch, all it means is this. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or up, okay? Uh, on the left hand side here, let me open the door so you can see better, is our power adjustable pedals. Uh, sometimes, you know, um, sliding the seat all the way back or all the way forward is not enough when you get a real short tr uh, driver or a real tall driver. And what that does is that uh, it makes the pedals move independently from the, um, from the seat. I'm moving them up now. I don't know if you can see it because it moves very slow. Maybe if I can get an angle here, and I'm going to move them back now. They move about five inches or so, 
So it, uh, sometimes it makes a real big difference when you got a real tall driver or a short driver. Um, the rear view mirror has an eye, so it's what we call the auto dimming mirror. Somebody puts their high beams on you, the mirror, the mirror darkens so as not to bother your vision. Okay, um, here we got a storage for sunglasses and we got map lights on either side here. Uh, vanity mirrors with lighting and also the extension. What I mean by the extension is you can flip that to the side and you can also block the sun from two different angles. Okay, this is coming in at an angle here. Let's go ahead and close that back up. All right, uh, main glove box is over here. And right in here is your owner's manual with this casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need are all right in there. Okay, um, got a nice analog clock here in the middle between the AC vents. Uh, leather wrapped steering wheel and let's go ahead and pan around that steering wheel so you can see that it's in great shape. None of the stitching is coming apart, there are no burn holes anywhere and it also has this really neat uh, wood trimming on the side here which is uh, super nice. Let's go ahead and pan around nice and slow so you can see that it is in great shape. No burn holes, no cuts, no tears, no stitching coming apart. The wood trimming is nice and clean. The car's in real good shape for a 60,000 mile vehicle. Uh, um, okay, I think we might be ready to move on to the back. Uh, make sure we go ahead and put the DVD, leave it running so you can see it. I think it's, uh, I think it might be paused now. Or maybe a pause. That doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and move back. We'll leave the car running. Um, okay, moving on to the back. Yeah, there it is. Uh, DVD's uh, on right now. Okay, um, uh, this vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. Push up on this lever here, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got small kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage it, the only door that will work, the only handle that will work is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers, just do the opposite. Push it down, and this handle will start working again. Okay, as I said before, two in the front, bucket seat in the front, a full bench in the middle, that's five and three more in the back, that's eight, okay? Um, the rear, the middle row passengers can control the air conditioning right here. They can control the fan speed and the temperature as well. They have a power outlet here for a cigarette lighter adapter or a charger for the phone. Again, cup holders here. And uh, you got all your, uh, you got a video input here. So if you can power it, you could actually play it right on your screen over here. And there's also a headphone jack in here. And of course, the uh, the passengers back here can control their uh, their whatever they're doing the stereo as well as a DVD player. Okay, um, again, entering to the back is really simple. You just flip this. Uh, I need two hands. Wait a minute. There we go. And then one more time, and then this will lift forward, and you can get into uh, again enter to the back. It's a little easier when you get two hands, but as you can see, you can do it one-handed. And then to close it, just do the opposite push lift and that's it okay uh, that's your rear area there as you can see we have AC vents for the, the rear row passengers okay as well as map lights way back there and then we have also uh, AC vents for the middle row passengers and the map lights as you can see they're on right now uh, they're on because they got the door open uh, we've already looked in the back, but let's go ahead and take a look one, one more time. To open the tailgate, you don't need the remote or the switch up in the front. There's a switch right in here, pull on the handle, and it will open up. So there's different ways to open it. Like as I said to you before, and then you can close it right here too as well, okay? You don't have to uh, pull it down or use any of the switches. You can just press this switch right here. Down here, we got storage. Here's our jack and all the stuff that you need. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close it up. It warns you, by the way, I'm sure you heard the chime. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked or damaged, they're nice and clean. Uh, there's also uh, all the chrome trimming on the, on the tail lights, it's in perfect shape. Rear wiper, rear window defroster. This uh, will also open separately. I think the handle is uh, it's one of these here. There we go, it pops it. And you can uh, actually reach in here and put groceries if you don't want to open the tailgate completely. Okay, right rear tail light again, same way, perfect shape, no cracks, no scuffs, nice and clean. Um, let's 
go ahead and open up the right rear door here. Take a look inside. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked. They're nice and clean. Uh, and you can gain entry to the rear the same uh, by doing the same thing by pulling on this handle right here. Okay. Let's move on to the right front. Right front door, perfect shape. Got the nice uh, wood trimming. Same thing as in the center console here with the wood trimming. Okay. And the passenger side will also have a uh, power seat, power recline, and lumbar support just as the driver's side. We got um, uh, seat side airbags here. Okay. As well as curtain side airbags here coming off the top there. Okay. Um, and we also have uh, another power outlet here for your cigarette light adapter. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to, um, by the way, the mirrors, I don't know if you can see it, see it, see it there, they're uh, heated mirrors, okay, and we got turn signals right below the mirrors there. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it off and take a quick peek inside the engine, and that'll do it. Um, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, or oh, I left the lights on, left the lights on, okay, up the hood. Once again, we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5. And we're always closed on Sundays. Okay? Hey, easier to do this with two hands than one hand, but it can be done, as you can see. Okay? Uh, again, it's a 5.4 liter V8. Sticker, I believe, is on this side over here. It's built routing over there. As you can see, nice and clean, no oil leaks, no, no rust, no oxidation. Okay, nice and clean, no leaks anywhere. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and, um, where is that? Here we go. It's a 5.4 liter, I don't know if you can see it there. Let's let the camera focus in. There we go. Go ahead and close the hood. Uh, yeah, we have financing available for all types of credit. If you have, uh, if you have good credit, we have excellent rates. And if your credit is not so good, we have special financing. And we even have some programs for really rough credit with a good down payment. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing, you want to you wanna get, uh, get the ball rolling on the financing, all you got to do is go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, and then click submit at the bottom of the page so we can uh, go ahead and um, send your application to the bank and get your response. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George at 305-218-5462. And I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.